Hey guys, what is up everybody? This is the great Puckettini coming at you on behalf of PucketFanshop.com. And over at PucketFanshop.com, we put uh, we make dog designs. We put on all kinds of t-shirts, uh, socks, we have stickers, we have laptop sleeves, mugs, all kinds of stuff. So go over to PucketFanshop.com and check out our dog designs and see if we got anything you like. And if we don't have a dog breed that you like, that you'd like to see, send me a message. I'd love to do business with you. Uh, but tonight, what I got for you is I have 10 keys to an Arkansas Razorback victory versus Missouri State this weekend against Bobby Petrino. And first off, I just want to say, guys, they're not going to be just an easy pushover. I was listening to Drive Time Sports tonight, and everybody was saying 50 to 20, stuff like that. Uh, they, I mean, their offense is good. We should be able to score several points on them, but their offense is pretty good. We're going to play well defensively to uh, to slow them down. Okay, first off, uh, we need to stop their big wide receiver, Tyrone Scott. He's 6'3", he weighs uh, 202, and he's a junior, and he transferred in, I believe, from Central Michigan, maybe, I read. But he went on the season, he's got 16 catches for 256 yards, three touchdowns. So he averages 128 yards per game receiving. That, that's a lot. We don't have anybody doing that. He's a big guy. He's, he's got prototype size to be an NFL receiver. Uh, he's really good. Uh, he likes the – I saw him running a lot of post routes, slant routes, use his size in there. He's good. He's going to give us he – could, he could give us some fits, okay? So we got to stop Tyrone Scott. Got to slow him down. Can't let him have 100 yards receiving. You know, if he has a big game, that means they're in the game, I think. Okay, uh, number two uh, key to victory is we got also the running back. We got to stop him, Jacardi Wright. Jacardi is six foot. He weighs two hundred twenty pounds, and and uh, he on the year he has thirty six carries for one hundred sixty eight yards, and he averages four point four yards per carry, which is good. That's that's a good yard per carry average. Um, now we only give up two point six yards per carry, so it's going to be you know who can win out there. Uh, we only give, like I say, 2.6. He averaged 4.4, so we got to win that battle. He runs really hard, man. I'm telling you, he's a good running back. He runs hard. He's fast. He's got good size. He's quick. He can catch the ball out of the backfield. He's a good back. Um, he can give us some fits, too. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so those two there are really good. I'm telling you, they can play. And then their quarterback, Jason Shelley. we got to slow him down, too. This guy's had a really good year in their first two games. Uh, he's only 5'11". He weighs about 200 pounds. So he's on the short side. So our defensive line, I'm sure they've been on uh, – Zeke's been on them. Coach Adams about getting her hands up if they can't get to him. You know, knock some passes down. Because at 5'11", you know, prototype size is like 6'2", 6'3", I believe. So uh, he, he's definitely a little bit shorter. But uh, he has completed 69% of his passes. He's not thrown an interception that, yet this year. And he averaged 282 passing yards per game. Now, Arkansas, we give up 350 yards passing per game. So that's a little bit scary there. You know, we have got to do better in pass defense. And that's what these guys, you know, Petrino, they're going to score. They're going to move the ball. We should know that, Arkansas fans. And so, uh, secondary D line man defense got to be ready to go because he he's got the Tyrone Scott receiver Jacardi Wright running back and then Jason Shelley man they got three weapons right there that are good I mean they can play so we got to be ready to go okay now uh, number four key to win to victory their defensive end Kevin Ellis he's their leading tackler uh, but he's only six four about two forty. Uh, so, you know, we don't need to play around. It was kind of like some of these other teams I've been talking about. We got to run right at them. Don't drop back pass. I mean, we got to run right at them. Get our big defensive line mauling these guys. But 240, we should be able to run over him. And they have not seen a team like Arkansas, like us, that can run the ball like we can. For sure, they have not seen that. And I heard Bobby Petrino talking about that, too. That's the first thing he talked about was our offensive line, how physical they are. He's scared of that. I know he is. So we, we got we can't play with him, Kendall. We cannot be pretty this week. We got to go out, wear them out. And then you can be pretty at, as you're wearing them out. All right. Key to victory number five is their linebacker, Farron Manaluia. Have you say that? That's a crazy name. He is like uh, one of their leading tacklers, but he's only 6'1", about 220. 
as a linebacker, you know, that's that's way undersized. You know, at least 10 pounds undersized. But once again, we need to run right at him. Don't run side to side, try to go right at him. Um, you know, you have to run some outside, of course. But uh, but let's be real physical, okay? And the other linebacker, they run kind of the four two five looks like defense. Is Vaughn Young plays most of the time? He's he's six foot two twenty as well. Uh, we need to run right at him too. So so they're undersized, you know, defense. They're trying to get more speed on the field. It's kind of like Sam Pittman said. He said when he first came in, they just had to recruit speed. And whether they were small or what, they just try to get speed. And now he, we're able to recruit guys that are big and fast. And Missouri State's still one of those. They're an FBS school, I think. If that's what that is, or they're a smaller division. They're not up here with us. Um, so you know, he just has to get speed. And usually, it's smaller guys that he can get that are fast. But anyway, we get you know, linebackers are undersized. Um, number seven, key to victory. We got to pound them with a running game. I already said this. But uh, they give up about four yards per carry against teams that did not really want to run the ball, okay? They, those teams wanted to be in a spread and want to be throwing it, and they were averaging four yards a carry on them. Um, and opponents have averaged about 253 rushing yards per game against them, so 253 uh, per game. So we ought to be licking our chops, ready to run the football. Offensive line, we want to get them, you know, beat them quick, get, just get on them and wear them out. Don't play with them because I promise you their offense is going to be able to move the ball and score some. So we're going to have to model them on offense. Uh, key number eight to victory. When they start populating the box, which they're going to have to do to stop our run, that's when we need to hit them with the big plays in the in the passing game. Play action passes, not drop back passes. We need to be play action and everything, faking a run and hitting somebody deep. Um, you know, uh, they give up 258 passing yards per game. We should be able to hit them big, you know. Uh, we don't want to get to where we're th throwing drop back passes. If we're having to drop back for third and ten, third and eight, we're in trouble. That means we may be down and we're playing right into their hands. That's what they want us to do. They don't want us in uh, second and four, you know, second and three, third and two. They don't want us in that. They want us in third and eight, third and ten. So that will play right in their hands. So we don't want to be drop back passing. When they start to bring people up, populate in the box, more people in the box, that's when we want to play action it and hit somebody over the top, one of our big, fast receivers. All right, uh, number nine, key to victory. We have to cut down on our penalties. Holy moly. We're averaging about 92 yards per game on penalties. We had a whole bunch though, against South Carolina. That probably skewed it a little bit. But that's way too much. You know, Generally, you say for every 100 yards of offense should equal a touchdown. Well, geez. We're at 92 yards a game in penalties. That's almost a touchdown every game. We're giving a touchdown every game away over just penalties. Got to cut that out. But I thought some of those in South Carolina were bogus, I will say. Um, I know one drive, they gave them like 45 yards of penalties, and two or three of them were very questionable, I thought. But anyway, we just still need to cut down our penalties, and we can't be giving stuff like that away. And Missouri State, I'm telling you guys, they are off, they're not bad offensively. Uh, we can't give them stuff. Number 10, last key to victory here is we must win the turnover battle. And Arkansas has done a great job of this so far. We have not turned the ball over yet, which is wonderful. Missouri State has had some fumbling problems. They fumbled a couple times in some of their games. So we, must, we, we need to be punching on that ball, trying to get the ball out. You know, that's one of the biggest indicators of win-loss is who wins the turnover battle. Whoever wins that a lot of times wins the game. Um, and if we're turning the ball over, that's going to give Missouri State more chances on offense, and we don't want that. I'm telling you, they got some good weapons. If we're turning the ball over, that, that means we're keeping them in the game. And uh, offensively, they're a little scary, guys. Um, we're going to come to play. So that's all I got. Uh, hoping for a big hog victory this Saturday against Missouri State. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share it with like-minded people like us. Um, and come back later here to my great Puppetini channel. I do videos on the Cowboys and the Razorbacks, and I'd love to see you back. And go visit PucketFanshop.com and see if I got anything over you like. If you want to see something, send me a message, and I'd love to do business with you. We'll see you guys later. Go Hogs!